second video on the H10 Pro. So I got the brand new replacement sensor because in my last video, when I was doing a comparison to the Infracon Stratus, my Infracon Stratus, I just put a brand new sensor in here about three weeks ago. So this has a brand new sensor. But when I did my test comparison video with the refrigerant leak check reference bottles, R134 and YF refrigerant, it was an unfair comparison because I was using a sensor in the H10 that was eight years old. So that was an unfair comparison. So I decided to get a brand new sensor just to see if the slight difference in sensitivity had to do with the sensor. So I just installed the brand new sensor in there. And as you can see, it's nice and hot inside there. This is what it looks like, that little hot element. So that's brand new. I went through the adjustment procedures. Here's True Tech Tools. And you can order just the sensor. They're a lot more than the last time I bought them. It tells you how long ago. They were about $58 the last time I bought a sensor. Inflation. And here's the Infracon uh, tester for your reference leak bottle. This is to check all the leak check testers in your company. So if you're a larger company, and you have eight vans, 10 vans, or if you even have 60 vans with guys with leak sensors, you can have these in your office and your guys can reference test their refrigerant leak detectors. And I think every big company and little company should have these because why send your guys out to look for leaks when their leak test equipment cannot even find little leaks? Maybe they're good enough to find big leaks, but not little leaks, and this will tell you. So let's get back here some more. Here is the instructions for your H10. Now, if you could pick one of these up on eBay or anywhere used and you could get one for about a hundred bucks because it's not operating, not operating well because the sensor is burnt out. Okay, you got 150 bucks here. You're gonna consider you're gonna change the sensor. Your battery might be dead. So say there's another $27 for a new battery. And then you have a good, these are like $600 now. So if you could pick one of these up for around 100 and invest about almost $200 to get it up and running again, that's better than $600 for you guys who like to look for used tools. Uh, so here's your procedures, and it'll walk you through how to set your adjustments for testing, set your heater pot. This is your heater pot. I put in the brand new one, so I turned it all the way down. This will be covered in your instructions for mybaccarat.com. I don't have to show you this. I could just tell you where to go because you're all big boys now and you could do your own research. You could go to True Tech Tools. You could buy a reference bottle. You could go to True Tech Tools. You could buy a new sensor. I haven't looked up if True Tech Tools has the battery for this unit, but they probably do. And if they don't, they can order it. Uh, that's it. So let's take a look at this. We now have the brand new sensor in it. I'm now going to put it out of auto mode into manual mode. Manual mode is more sensitive than auto mode. So I'm going to take it out of manual mode. Let's turn it all the way down. It's in the smallest leak detection mode right now. So let me calibrate it and turn it up. And you want it so, and you'll read this in the instructions. You want it so it doesn't just is in the red before it goes into the blue. And it'll say like three beeps a second. When you're calibrating, it's one beep a second. Oh, too much. And this is why guys don't like the manual node because they don't like the always continuous. Okay, that'd be a little bit too high. So I'm gonna come down and get it out of the green right there. So now I'm in the low range and I'm in the manual mode. This is the most sensitive mode. I have this in super mode. This is the most sensitive mode for this tool. This one, is the YF refrigerant. This one is the R134 refrigerant. So let's come here. Now you see the delay? Because the pump has to suck that air sample all the way up through this hose and run it over the sensor before it can actually register. So you'll have a little delay when you go by. And actually I have it up. See, now I'm staying in the green. So let's send, let's get that back down. 
it's really sensitive. This just little measurement right here, right there. So now let's go to the uh, 134 refrigerant. This leak detector is really sensitive on the YF uh, refrigerant. I was surprised. You see that? Okay, that's a really, see how fast I went over that. Now this is the reference bottle and it is also available at True Tech Tools. So this is the reference bottle that comes with your leak detector. You see it really goes off on that. And you see how fast I did that. I, oh, I was too far away that time. Oh, it still picked it up. It went up a little bit. I was too far away, I was almost a half inch away. That time I went right over the top. There it goes. So that's how, basically, I gave you the basics. I didn't give you the details. I gave you the information to go look up how to properly adjust. So if you have one of these, go through the calibration mode with your old sensor. So what I discovered, my old sensor is still good. I was very surprised. But the new sensor is a little bit more reactive with the 134. With my old sensor that was eight years old, it was doing really good with the YF refrigerant. But when I came over to the 134 refrigerant, it was having a little struggle. It was working, but it was very slow at response and it was very weak. But after changing the sensor, it is now very accurate and very sensitive on the 134 now. So let's look at the Infracon. So this is a thousand dollar lake detector and it's worth every penny. It's nice and portable. Plus, I could change the sensor in here in about 30 seconds and it'll become a hydrocarbon, you know, flammable gas leak detector. I could change the sensor inside here again and it becomes a CO2 leak detector for CO2. So this is three refrigerant leak detectors in one. So let's uh, go over this. Let me see if I can catch this all in. I'm trying to figure out how to do this and I catch it all inside one screen inside my uh there we go let's uh turn that down i want you to see the screen boom let's do that again see the screen i think i was too high there you go that's that that's in sensitive mode and that is the YF refrigerant. So the YF and the 134, no problem in sensitive mode. Let's go in cloud hunting mode. Whoops, wrong one. Zeroing, that's manual mode. Let's go in, that's more like a diode mode, like this heated diode. Okay, here's cloud hunting mode. Actually, let's look at these, uh, see if there's still something left in the cap. Nope, nothing in that cap. Nothing in that cap, okay. So cloud hunting mode. Boom, a little bit. Cloud hunting mode. A little bit. Now, did you see the difference in response between cloud hunting mode and sensitive mode? Let's go back to the sensitive. There's super. It says super on it. Ah, shit. Didn't want to do that. And I'm not retaking. That YF refrigerant really sets it off. So super mode is your more sensitive mode than parts per million. But the parts per million is for good for walking around in a room. All right, I think that's it for now. I gave you enough information where you can make your own decisions. You can actually read. I know you guys don't like to read, but you can actually read and now look up because most guys own these, but they have never ever properly adjusted them from the day they owned it. They just turned it on and go. So I'll see you guys later. I hope somebody like Brian Orbs, HVAC School, or Greg Marchialo, Marchialo, uh, slaughtered your name, sorry, Greg, uh, from HVAC School LLC or Ty Bremerman can make a really good video using the cartoon illustrations and pictures much better than I can uh, but still 50 year old technology still holds its own against today's technology 
at a thousand dollars so other than this has the advantage of it being a co2 leak detector and a hydrocarbon leak detector all right guys see you later don't forget true tech tools you could get everything you need to update your old h10 and bring it back to life so it's just as sensitive as a thousand dollar infracon and i love this infracon just because it's so easy see you guys